Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got a Corona standard from the 30s on the bench here, flat top machine. Gonna do some, gonna be doing pretty much a, <clears throat> a complete works on this thing. So I haven't yet done the basket or the typeface or anything much else. It's still filthy dirty in here. Doesn't show on camera too much, but it's a wreck. But what I want to tackle today on camera is this corrosion, this oxidation corrosion on this um, pivot block here. So this has all got that oxidation on it. And what I'm going to do is I got this wire brush. I use these a lot, but I don't usually use this thin style. I had to shave this off so it fits between the the levers there so I can start knocking some of this down with the wire brush so that's the procedure I'm going to use on this initially is wire brush so I can get right between these like this and at least knock that down and loosen it up and then I'm going to still use the wire brush on the rest of this but then I'm just going to use lacquer thinner. You can see the oil, old oil in here between the uh, in the pivots anyhow. So it's got to be flushed out. But you can see the dust, the uh, oxidation dust coming off on when I'm scraping this thing. I'm not sure how long this brush is going to last because I kind of compromise the, uh, <laughs> by taking material off the side, it's, it's probably going to fall apart pretty quick to see if I can get at least this job done here today before it expires. I don't see this happen too, too often on Smith Coronas, so this must have been maybe stored in the case for an extremely long time to get this type of oxidation going. Okay, well that worked out pretty good I guess. I'm going to use my, my better wire brush and hit the rest of this real quick. I see that stuff's just flaking right off there. It was just flaking off on here. But that's okay. As long as it comes off. We'll deal with that later. So that's about it right here. Probably about all I'm gonna get with the wire. Wire brush, just quite a bit. Let's give it a little shot of air. Not bad. Just one more brush up in there. And one more shot of air. So now, of course, I'm going to use black as center. And I'm going to soak this whole piece here. Just looking pretty good. Usually you can, uh, when there's too much of that oxidation on there, it just... See that? That's coming out really good. Let's do another whack here. I'm going to turn on another, another fan and some more lights. So I got extreme ventilation with this uh, lack of center. Give it another run here. So you can see some of the dirt oil running out of here. Thank you. Running out of the pivots.
work to work those bars a little bit to give them a little bit of movement so you can see the the brown coming out of here or the black. That's the old oils. So we're gonna get two two jobs done at once. So kind of my my uh, when I'm flushing these. I can kind of tell when it's done when I keep on flushing like this. I'm going to do another round here. When it stops, so you can still see some of the old, the brown come out. So as soon as it starts running clear, then you know there's no more uh, oils in there. And you can stop. Which usually takes like two or three um, these applicate, you know, repeat soap, brush, blow out, repeat type things, and then they usually get better. So this might be the last one here. This is looking pretty good. Yeah, see that's coming out. There's nothing else coming out of here, so. I think that's probably it. Okay, I'm gonna let that now I'm going to actually put in there my uh, this neutral spray. It's kind of a cleaner, and this is before it actually before I blow it out and dry it out all the way. I'm going to add this to it, just like that. Well, maybe I'll brush it a little. <clears throat> okay, so now it's got just a little tiny bit of lubricant and I'm gonna blow all that out with so, to press down with a pretty good powerful powerful shot here. And to finish it you might check the top here. You can see, you can see part of the, the block down in here. In fact, I think I will try to hit that. Well, I'm going to leave that section for when I flush this segment at a, at a drop in there so I'll be able to uh, spot clean that too. But got the primary primary deal done here with this block, which looks perfect now. That's perfect, ready to go. And uh, like I said, I'll tackle the whole top part when I do the uh, when I do do the type faces in the type segment. I'll make sure I get a little bit clean up the top portion of that. Alright, Phoenix typewriter, good day.